Look folks, I know the lighting's a little weird. I know the room's a little weird, but uh, this is what we're working with. Can you see that? So, bear with me. Folks, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot sec. It has been a hot sec. I got back from Ireland. I got a job and I'm taking two classes and running my business and you know, all of the stuff that everybody does and says as excuses for not getting their videos out. So yes, today it is finally the day where we talk about that there tale. The new one, the one that still doesn't have a name. I'll get to it. Mer Taylor's new Spellbound series with the new scales, and I have the Aquarius Fluke with a double dorsal fin, two pectoral fins, hip fins, all the fins. So we're gonna talk about three things today. Swimmability, affordability, and manageability. Yes, swimmability is a word. I made it up. You heard it here first. In the first category, swimmability, we got a lot to talk about. This tail is by far the best tail that I have ever swam in in every sense of the word. That even means beats the comfort of my fabric tail. Can you believe that? Okay, let me talk about why. First of all, this tail has a nearly patented monofin free fluke. That means that there is no plastic in this tail that's going to crack or break or bite your ankles or make it super uncomfortable for you to swim. My proof here is I spent three hours in this tail without sitting on the edge of a pool, no breaks, in the water in a 15 foot deep pool swimming the whole time and I got foot cramps at the end but there was no uncomfort because of the monofin. It was because of the strain of swimming with a 35 pound tail on my feet for three hours. The monofin itself is incredibly comfortable. It feels like you are sticking your feet into, do you know those like little Orbeez jelly beads that like expand when you fill them with water into like a pool of those, just like, oh, it's so comfortable. You gotta try it. The second thing under swimmability is durability. I don't know if you know this, but I am a professional mermaid in the sense that I get in the pool with the kids, I swim around, we play fetch, I played football in a pool with a tail once. This tail has held up to an incredible standard. The fins are on there so well encased by silicone. I like have pulled on them to get the tail on and they just are unfazed. The kids have pulled on this tail, they've lifted this tail, they've probably scratched and pinched this tail to get the reaction out of me and it has held up incredibly well. I have swam in this tail for probably 24 hours total since I got it and that is over the course of two months swimming in it every single weekend on rocks, up waterfalls, and I had to fix one rip and that was in the heel. And that is certainly an incredible standard to set for silicone tails. So Eric has come an incredibly long way in the sense of durability. And on top of that, there's no monofin that can break. So in Calypso, the monofin is kind of poking through the back end. That's not gonna happen with this tail. Kids can bend it, nothing's gonna hurt it because there is no monofin. Eric has somehow succeeded in ridding mermaid tails of the one thing that causes the most damage other than putting them on and taking them off, and that is the monofin. And I am so grateful being a working, real, down and dirty professional mermaid, this has made a world of a difference. The third thing in regards to swimmability is it's very, very floppy. That means it's going to take you a hot sec to get used to how it swims. I put it on and I was like, whoa, it's a whole new world. And it took me probably 10 minutes to really get used to the flow of the tail. So put it on and practice. On that same note, if you like a big fluke that like stands up when you do the cutesy like traditional mermaid pose, this one. <laughs> Did you get that? You're not gonna get that with this. It's very floppy. So you can like raise your heels out of the water and it'll kind of like flop over. Um, but personally, I prefer that. I think it looks way more realistic unless you're going for like a whale that has a big fluke that doesn't bend. But like, I like to think mermaids 
would not be like whales. They would be more like mermaids. <laughs> so it depends on your style. Personally, I like that style. I like the floppiness. I prefer it. It's also very hard to flip over because there's no like momentum to get going. You have to like pry the whole thing over, which is fine. Just takes a lot of practice, but that is the case for any silicone tail. The entire tail is so, so realistic. So realistic, in fact, that not only has it stumped every single kid I have met, it stumped me. I looked down in the water the first time I was wearing it and I saw my um, pectoral fin kind of like move and I literally was like, I thought that there was a big fish swimming by me and it scared me so bad, but turns out it was myself. Overall, in the category of swimmability, I dubbed this tail a tail that was meant for swimming. The next category is affordability. Now I just want to make a note that I fully recognize that tails and works of art like this are not something that everybody in the general public can go out and buy willy-nilly. A purchase like a silicone tail is an investment and it's something that a lot of people can't afford. I recognize that and I honor that. It was not an affordable purchase for me, but also I am a privileged person to be able to spend so much time saving that money and have the resources to be able to make such a purchase. It is an honor, a privilege, and a blessing to be able to own a spellbound tail. But these tails are being sold at a cost that is way under what I think they are truly worth. Mer Taylor does a great job at pricing his tails and I believe with my whole heart that they are the best quality for the lowest price on the market. I think that the tails stand up to every cent that they cost and you would not regret a purchase with a spellbound tail if you do your research and if it is the right product for you. All right, fishies, the final category we have today is manageability. Now this has to do with how easy is it to care for the tail, how easy is it to carry the tail, to pack the tail, to deal with the tail, to do everything behind the scenes with that thing. If they need to be cleaned out, you are sweating in them, you're swimming in them, gross lake water, chlorine, they need to be taken care of. So I use a tail cleaning soap that, well, it's for scuba diving suits, but I use it on my tail and I get way down in there in the foot pockets and I clean it all out. They also weigh well, mine weighs about 35 pounds. I put it in a suitcase and I have like a wheelie thing and I have a strap that goes on my shoulder and I get so tired carrying my tail around. So it is a lot of work. They are heavy, it's full silicone. You also need to be a strong swimmer. These tails filled with water and it's heavier than swimming with the basic tail. When I put on the basic tail, I'm usually about neutrally buoyant. With this guy, I sink in about two seconds. I go from the top of the water straight down to the bottom if I just were to sit there. So you need to be able to manage the tail. You're also not gonna get as much propulsion as you would with a huge monofin for pretty obvious reasons. So you need to make sure you can get to the surface of the water quickly if an emergency happens. That being said, you would think that they would go pretty slow because there's no monofin, it's not true. They are pretty speedy, so really it's not that much of a difference. And the slower you are underwater, the more graceful you look. So all these people complaining about the spellbounds being slower, I'm like, well, yeah, if you're not performing, then sure, that's a valid concern if you really do wanna go fast. But the slower you go, the less painful it is on your eyes, the more graceful you look, and the better your abs. So like, really, there's no loss. <laughs> Overall, I would give this tail a 10 out of 10 for swimability, affordability, and durability. It has absolutely surpassed my expectations for his Spellbound line, and I would highly recommend this tail to anybody out there, whether you're just starting, you're a professional, or you've been doing this for 10 years. It's well worth the purchase, and I have had a blast in this tail, and everything about it is comfortable and usable. Well done, Mer Taylor and Eric and his team. I love my new tail with all my heart, so thank you so much. So, this is my mom, and she just came in and spilled my tea, but then she showed me how her mirror worked. 
Yep. So, so it's kind of a even thing, huh? You win some, you lose some. Right, Mom? Right, Claire. It's Echo. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Alter Ego. <laughs> Should we say goodbye? Goodbye, e Echo. You say best fishes best. from Mermaid Echo. Best fishes from Mama Mermaid Echo. <laughs> and then we blow them a kiss. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs>